Hey, 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 monkeys! How you doing? Damien Keys here. So back when we were setting up BIM and we were recruiting students, we had a no dick policy. And what that meant was anyone who came along that we just thought may be a bit of a dick, we just didn't accept them on the course. And the reason for that is because we just didn't need that. We wanted to work with really great, passionate, excited, happy people, and we didn't want to work with dicks. Now, it shouldn't even need to be said nowadays of not being a dick. However, Back in the day, let's say it was a Monday, TVs in hotels would be fearful for their lives from the great rock star that would come in and throw them out the window. And Noel Gallagher just made a career for himself of just not giving a shit and being a bit of a dickhead. But nowadays, being a nice guy is actually a commodity. And the reason for that is because social media came along. Social media has come along and it has made you transparent. Everything that you do now is now has to be transparent. And people are using being nice in a way that they've never used it before. Being nice is now a commodity, a tradable commodity. It is important and it is something that you can use as leverage more than has ever been before. Now, if you look at artists like Gary Barlow, Ed Sheeran, Ollie Murs, Taylor Swift, these people use being really great people and really nice to actually sell because their audience goes, oh, I love them. I want them to be, I want them to get somewhere. I want them to be successful because they like them as people more so in a lot of the case than they like their music. Maybe not Ed Sheeran, but on the whole, people want these guys to succeed. And that's why when you see Ed Sheeran turning up and singing, thinking out loud, at a wedding, there's a reason for that, is because people are gonna see it, it's gonna be a great PR model that's not just gonna go on someone's Facebook, but it's gonna see be seen by the entire world and everyone's gonna go, what a great guy. And that is so much more important than turning up on TV and singing his single, because people are gonna be rooting for him. People are gonna be wanting him to succeed and therefore they are on his side, buying his record, tuning into all the things that he said. Right now, being a nice person and doing the right thing is a commodity that you can use. Now, it sounds obvious, but what are you doing about it? What are you doing for your fan base that's nice? What are you doing in general that's nice? Because one thing I see from musicians is fucking bitching and moaning and whining and whinging on Facebook. And it fucks me right off. The amount of trolling. I mean, I get so many trolls for my Facebook. I don't care. What, what are you going to do? Fucking judge me as if I give a shit. But at the same point, I'll remember. I'll just remember you. That's fine. And so will everybody else. So why do that? Why create something? Why make it harder for yourself when you can make it easier for yourself? What are you going to do to be nicer to your audience? To be nicer, not just to your audience, but to people who, are, who can, are there who can help you, promoters, managers, anyone who can actually help you with your career, why not go out of your way to help them first and it will come back leaps and bounds. I know it sounds obvious, but I just want to make that point that being nice is now a much bigger tradable commodity than it has ever been in the history of music because social media has made it so that when you do something, it will ripple bigger and bigger and bigger. Have a think about it, but more importantly, have a think about what you can do to actually utilize it. I think it's a great one. Have a think about it. I'll see you guys tomorrow.